first of all, it has to be reminded that there's no teaching here. There's no creed or dogma or belief. But perhaps from your own experience, you can affirm that being on the spiritual path can be likened to demolishing our house. First of all, we take down the drapes and let some light in. Then we start emptying the contents, the furniture and the fittings and all of those things that are there to decorate it. And then we start taking out the windows and taking down the walls and taking off the roof and till finally even the very foundation on which our house rests is itself demolished very painfully as we can all aver to. But it has been found that stories have the possibility of uh, metaphorically being able to loosen the nails out of the walls and help the breaking down of the belief systems and the conditioning that are what our house is constructed out of. There's a story of a man. He was a simple man, a potter. He made out of clay all of those implements and utensils that were used for daily life and still are. And he worshipped Shiva, the great destroyer. Every day as he was molding the clay, he sent thoughts to Shiva. Well, after some time, Shiva decided that he would give this potter a boon. So he appeared before him and asked him what he would like to fulfill a wish. And the potter said that he would like to be able to make utensils that were perfect in every way. And so, with an enigmatic smile on his face, Shiva said, yes, I can grant you this boon. So, after Shiva had disappeared, the potter took some clay and he made an urn. And after it had been fired, he dropped it on the ground and sure enough it didn't break. He banged it with a hammer and still it didn't break. At last his work, whatever he made, was going to be unbreakable, indestructible. And so it soon became known far and wide that one could obtain from this potter utensils that would last forever. And he was so thrilled with this. But after some time, it was found not only that all the other potters in the land were out of work and becoming destitute, but his own clientele was falling away because everyone had unbreakable, indestructible utensils, so they had no need to come to buy those from him or the other potters in the land and far and wide. And soon many people were out of work, their families destitute, and he himself penurious because there was no more work for him. And so he began to regret 
very deeply the wish that he'd asked for from Shiva. So finally, wholeheartedly, with all his being, he prayed once again to have Shiva's presence. And this was granted to him. Shiva appeared and said, Are you not satisfied with the boon that you received? And the potter admitted that he had made a grave mistake in wanting to achieve perfection in what he did. So he begged Shiva to take back this gift. And this Shiva did, smiling widely at the lesson that the potter had learned. Soon his business and the business of others was again booming and so life resumed and went on in its natural way. How many of us have aimed for perfection, imagining that the spiritual path is one where we become perfect beings, maybe of love and light or whatever. What does this story, this simple story, tell <coughs> us, evoke for us about perfection? What have you found in your life? <coughs> have you aimed, tried to be, aspired to be perfect in everything that you do? What has happened to that perfection? Are you still striving? <coughs> what does this story mean for you? What part of our house do you imagine the striving for perfection would be? Imagining the metaphor of the spiritual journey being one where our house is being dismantled. What place, what part of the house would the aspiration to perfection be? <coughs> 